fight with your mattress last night? Yeah, tossing and turning. It's fantastic that my business is growing, don't get me wrong, but I'm definitely feeling the growing pains. Ouch. Jobs are getting complicated, which means the spreadsheets I use to track job costs aren't cutting it anymore. I need a better system. Sage 50 has tools to organize, analyze, and track all customer jobs, even your super complicated ones. May I? Be my guest. You can monitor your jobs and projects using job records, where you can track as many details as you want. If the job is small or doesn't have many cost components, enter a single job record. You can enter the important details like location, start and projected end dates, and job statuses. Job statuses are fully customizable and help track job stages on reports. Updating a status to hold, for example, will report that the job is on hold until further notice. Some of my work gets more complicated than that, though. Can I track projects that are comprised of a bunch of little jobs? Sure, but you'll want to set up phases. A phase is a chunk of work you can track separately. You can get paid when they're complete and be able to see how much a certain phase costs. Is there a way to compare the costs of current projects with similar jobs I've done in the past? Sure. When you set up a job record, you can enter estimated expenses based on actual amounts from previous jobs. Then use the Estimated Job Expenses Report to compare estimates with current costs to stay within budget. Yeah, being over budget would be a disaster. Now, how do I track my current costs? You can assign expense transactions to job records, job phases, and cost codes. Any expense can be assigned to a job. Purchase invoices, payments, payroll hours, inventory adjustments, anything. General journal entries and time ticket hours can be assigned, too. And if you want to group certain expenses to report on them later, set up cost codes. Sometimes I have to revise my revenue estimates. No problem. Just create a change order to record those revisions. When change orders are approved, the changes are automatically applied to job record and job report estimates. And if I want to collect some of that revenue for a job? You can assign a customer invoice or receipt directly to a job or phase. Or you can use the Apply Time and Expense feature to generate invoices based on any unbilled time tickets or reimbursable expenses. Then use the Job Profitability Report to keep an eye on profits. Hey, then I may be able to actually sleep from now on. Good. Here are a few links to help you get started. Thank you.